go ahead and sit. Uh, yeah, if I can sit on that. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, everyone, to the Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church for this Good Friday service that is organized by the Knoxville Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, or KICMA. Today, we are a gathering of many different congregations who have many different traditions. We have a choir that is a combination of our congregations. Today, we meet in this building, but we reaffirm that the church is the people. And in that sense, we want to invite you after the service to join us for a special reception so that we can worship together, celebrate together, and get to know each other together. The psalmist said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. On Good Friday, we are mindful of the weeping, mindful of the suffering, mindful of the pain and the agony. On this holy day, we remember that there is no detour road around the valley of the shadow of death. We have to move through it. And when it is completely dark, when we are in pain and when we are suffering, it can be hard to even imagine that the sun will rise. Nevertheless, we move through the night together. We move through the despair of this moment on our way to the joy of Easter Sunday. Come, let us worship together. Let us pray. Eternal Father, Lord, we thank you for being with us today. We thank you for this gathering as we commemorate and remember the price that was paid for us and the road that you took for our redemption. I ask that there's something that's said that is done, that someone will be able to see the cost that was paid for them. We thank you for this event um, for, and Good Friday. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning. Well, thank you. Good afternoon. It's morning somewhere. Just before I give the occasion, I want to say thank you to all of you who have come today. I want to say thank you uh, to uh, Pastor Chris Bice in the Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church. I want to say thank you to the uh, committee, Stations of the Cross Program Committee, uh, Reverend Dr. Joseph Smith, our chair and vice president, Superintendent Philip Hamilton, Reverend Dr. Vivian Williams, Reverend Dr. Johnny Skinner, and Reverend Myron David Hill, who has done a tremendous job uh, pulling us together. He is the coordinator. I, I want to thank everyone up front because I know it will, once we begin our program, we want to be all about our program. Can I see, hear amen? amen? So we want to thank our music, the beloved community choir of Knoxville, I believe. This is the first time that they are singing under that name. <laughs> Mr. David Ashbury, Ashbury, pianist. Mr. Billy Doug Guthrie, percussionist. Marin, Reverend Marin D. Hill, director, and then the choir, amen. Uh, I would like for all of our Kikma media members to stand. 
of some who, and if you've ever been a kickback member, then we're going to invite you to stand too. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here. Uh, we have um, a health care organization that is coming. A table is out. Uh, um, help me with the name. The New, New Directions. I knew, I knew what the name was when I came up here. <laughs> New Directions, Cynthia Defense is the executive director and, and they have a table out for us. So please stop and get the information. They do so much for our community. And uh, lastly, I want to say that we will be receiving an offering today. On the back of your bulletin, there is the cash out dollar sign Kikma, as well as being able to give here today. The proceeds each year for the last few years, we have been giving to a community-based healthcare organization that helps in education in our community. This year we'll be given to the community tutoring and the uh, executive director is Ms. Danya Walker. Say it loud. Bacon. Bacon, thank you so much, amen. That's, that's, that's my church secretary. She's, <laughs> she's part of my memory team. <laughs> if I didn't call someone, please forgive me, but we want to thank everyone. Let's give everyone a hand that had anything to do with us being here today. Early in the Christian movement, Jesus' followers remembered Jesus' execution in the places where various parts occurred, recounting the details. By the Middle Ages, pilgrimages to Jerusalem for the Holy Week were like the Muslim Hajj, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. When people couldn't go to Jerusalem, they did this ritual, the ritual of the Stations of the Cross, was born so that people could journey with Christ spiritually through their own parish devotion. Today, we're going to participate in the ancient tradition of remembering Christ's death by doing an ecumenical version. But I have to forewarn you, this worship is not a comfortable journey. For some, the Stations of the Cross will be an intense spiritual journey where our souls are laid bef bare before God. For others, we just want to, it to end because it's too overwhelming, so we check out at very various places. However you respond and wherever you respond is okay. You're not spiritually defective regardless of how it strikes you. So knowing that no one here will judge, just enter into the experience open to the Lord's presence. You may want to return to the stations later. That's the reason why we provided you with the bulletin to spend more time in contemplation before the Lord. Thank you for coming.
And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Today you will see the cross move 14 times about this building. As the cross is moving, the preachers will read, will read why that cross is there. We will reflect silently. I will interrupt the silence with some provocative statement to get you to think. And we will sing. The choir will lead some songs, some songs you know you can get in and sing right with us. And if you feel moved, and I want you to feel moved, you can clap your hands and you can just be at home. It's a good Friday to celebrate what Jesus did. The first station, Reverend Vivian, Reverend Dr. Vivian Williams. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Matthew 26, chapter 36 through the 41st verse. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and trouble. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep with me while, while watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it's possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for an hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Where are we asleep when Jesus is sorrowful unto death? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed the world. Song, I come to the garden alone.
he is prepared a second station, Reverend Dr. Joe Manna. Jesus is betrayed and arrested, Mark 14, verses 43 through 46, reading from the King James Version of the Bible. And immediately, while he yet spake, cometh Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a token, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he was come, he goeth straightway to him and said, Master, Master. And he kissed him. <clears throat> and, they led, and they laid their hands on him and took him. Where in our own lives do we betray Jesus with a kiss? Through your faithfulness, O oh Christ, you have redeemed the world. We adore you. We bless you. Song, if I have wounded any soul today. Third station, Reverend Michael McNair. Jesus condemned by religious counsel. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, I'll tell you, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I also ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, are thou the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth. Taken from Luke chapter 22, verses 66 to 71. How have we participated in religious groups that condemn Jesus? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed the world. Song, 
O Lamb of God. Fourth station, Reverend Dr. Harold Middlebrook. Jesus is denied by Peter. Matthew 26, 69 through 75. Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also was with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there, this fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. In what ways do you deny Jesus? Through your faithfulness, O Christ, you have redeemed the world. We adore you. We bless you. Song, I Know a Man.
I told y'all you could clap. <laughs> Fifth station, Reverend Dr. Reginald E. Robinson. I know a man, wow. <laughs> um, Jesus is judged by Pontius Pilate. Mark chapter 15, one through five in verse 15. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. And so as, it was, as, as so as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And he, over to Pilate, Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, you have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, have you no answer to make? You see how many charges they have brought against you? But Jesus made no further answer. So Pilate was amazed. Verse 15. So Pilate, watching to satisfy the crowd, released them to release Barabbas to them. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Where has our desire to appease others hurt Christ's body? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed the world. Song never said a mumbling word. See what they done, my Lord. He never said a mumbling word. Oh, see what they done, my Lord. He never said a mumbling word. See what they done, my Lord. He never said a mumbling word. Not a word, not a word. They whipped him all night long. Oh, he never said a mumbling word. Well, they whipped him all night long. And he never said a mumbling word. They whipped him all night long. And he never said a mumbling word. Not a word. Not a word. Why don't you see what they done? My Lord, oh, he never said mumbling word. Oh, see what they done, my Lord. And he never said mumbling word. Just see what they done, my Lord. And he never said a mumbling word. Not a word. Not a word. Sixth station, Reverend Dr. Joseph Smith. Jesus is scored and mocked. 
reading from the New Standard English Translation, the Gospel of John, the 19th chapter, verses 1, 2, and 3. Then Pilate took Jesus and flogged him, and the soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him saying, Hail, king of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. How do we participate in groups that beat up the Jesus in others. Through your faithfulness, O Christ, you have redeemed the world. We adore you. We bless you. Reprise of O Lamb of God. Seventh station, the Reverend Dr. Johnny Skinner. Scripture is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 6, and then verses 15 to 17, and I'm reading from the NIV. As soon as the chief priest and the officials saw him, they shouted, crucify him, crucify. But, Pete, but Pilate answered, you take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. Verses 15 through 17. But they shouted, take him away, take him away, crucify him. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate answered, we have. <laughs> No king but Caesar. Mm. The chief priest answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. Consider where in the world crowds still call for the crucifixion of innocent people. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed the world. Song, must Jesus bear the cross alone.
the eighth and ninth stations, the Reverend Dr. John Butler. The eighth station, Jesus, Jesus is helped by Simon of Cyrene. Mark 15, verse 21, reading from the Common English Bible. Simon, a man from Serene, Alexander and Rufus' father, was coming in from the countryside. They forced him to carry his cross. The ninth station. Jesus meets the woman, the women of Jerusalem. Luke chapter 23. Verses 27 through 31. A huge crowd of people followed Jesus, including women who were mourning and wailing from, for him. Jesus turned and said to the women and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, don't cry for me, rather cry for yourselves and your children. The time will come when they will say, happy are those who are unable to become pregnant. The wounds that never gave birth, the breasts that never nursed a child. Then they will say to the mountains, fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. If they do these things when the tree is green, what would happen when it is dry? Fix your eyes on the cross that has moved throughout this building. Put your eyes on the cross. Consider the times you were forced into carrying Jesus' cross or where have we forced others to carry the cross of Christ? Jesus said his death occurs in a green time. What might life look like when the time is dry. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed this world. O oh Mary, don't you weep.
10th station, Reverend Chris Bice. Jesus is crucified. Luke chapter 23, verses 33 and 34. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him with a criminal one on the right hand and on the other the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his clothing and cast lots. While we are in the act of crucifying and mocking Jesus, Jesus begged for our forgiveness. Through your faithfulness, O Christ, you alone have redeemed the world. We adore you. We bless you. Song, were you there? Eleventh station, Elder Philip Hamilton. Jesus promises his kingdom. Luke 23, verses 39 through 43 from the King James Version. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, Save thyself and us. But the other one answered, rebuking him, saying, Do it not thou fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? And when we, in, when we indeed justly, for we receive the reward of our deeds. But this man 
have done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily, I say unto you, Today thou shalt be with me in thy paradise. Hallelujah. This is a good Friday. How do we want Jesus to remember us? We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. Through your faithfulness, you have redeemed the world. He will remember me. Twelfth Station, Reverend Paul McLeod. Jesus speaks to mother and beloved disciple from the New International Version, John chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, Here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Amen. Consider the kind of family Jesus wants us to be. Through your faithfulness, O oh Christ, you have redeemed the world. We adore you. We bless you. Song wounded for me.
13th station, Reverend Paul McLeod. Jesus dies on the cross. Luke 23, verses 44 through 46 from the New International Version. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the earth, over the land until three in the afternoon, for the sun stopped shining. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last Yeah. 
is ringing for you and me. Well, surely, surely he died at old Calvary. Can you can you hear? station. Y'all sang my voice out. <laughs> Reverend Sam Brown. I need one by Sunday. Y'all can get it back for me. Jesus is placed in the tomb. Matthew chapter 27 verses 57 through 60 reading from the New International Version. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus's body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb, for he had, that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance of the tomb and went away. As Reverend Bice places the cross on the top this is Golgotha where our Jesus hung on the cross for you and me and not too long after that a tomb was used to place his body in. And in this moment, we're going to celebrate. So I need you to help us to sing. Help us to clap and let's have a joyful noise. Lord, I lift your name on high.
Let me get my praise out. Glory to God. Amen. You ought to give God a hand of praise. If you got a pulse, you got to pray. Amen. 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 My task at this particular time is to extend the invitation of discipleship. Not membership, because membership takes you down on the pew. But discipleship gives you a charge for the purpose of God of saving us is to do good works. If you don't mind, if you labor to your feet, as I extend this invitation of discipleship. Also, it's a time for prayer, a time of reconciliation, a time for forgiveness, a time for repentance. It's a time for a new beginning. It's time for deliverance. If the Spirit leads you to come at this altar, I challenge you to come at this particular time. For tomorrow may not be promised to you. If there's one, please come. It's going to be a time where every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Y'all don't hear me. This is an invitation. The next time be a proclamation that he's king of kings, lords of lords. If there's one, God bless you. It was suggested to you at the beginning of the service that there would be a time provided when we could give. This service has been designed to remind you that Christ gave all for you. The challenge now is what do we do in return for him? If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, my living shall not be in vain. Each of the members of Kikma have been asked for a specific amount for the furtherance of our work. And now we offer you an opportunity, as he has given for you, give that we might assist young people in being tutored, in being helped along the way. For who can but tell, we might reach one somebody who can proclaim good news and tell a dying world that there is a living Savior. And so we prepare now. The ushers will come with trays, with baskets to accept your offering. We don't tell you what to give. The Spirit be your guide. But as he has given for you, give for others that they might be helped. Lord, bless now the giver and the gift, the gift to be used in service, the giver to be strengthened for you and for your cause. In the name of the Christ we pray, amen.
I remind you, as President Butler said, that we can take Cash App, dollar sign K-I-C-M-A, dollar sign K-I-C-M-A. Praise the, Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your giving. Amen. I'd just like to celebrate uh, everyone who has participated today, all of our ministers and, and our choir and musicians. Let's just celebrate God. I'm glad that they put the closing scripture here because uh, when usually when I take a scripture this time, I wanted to do a little bit more with it than close. <laughs> but, that, but I'm gonna follow what I've been told to do. Just thank everybody. I just want everybody to look around, look around. And when you look around, I want you to say, look at God. Look at God. Look how good God is, amen? Remind everyone that as we do the closing scripture and in the closing prayer, there is a fellowship gathering that you've been invited to. And we thank once again, Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church for, for, for just give them one more hand for them. Let us be here and all of our leadership. Years ago, my daughter, when she was about 10 years old, said, Daddy, what's so good? about Good Friday with all that Jesus went through. That was one of those questions, Dr. Maddox, kind of like you like to ask, you know. And I looked at her and I thought about, and I didn't know about this 14 station uh, celebration or commemoration at the time, but as I thought about it as we was approaching this last scripture, I thought about my daughter asking me that when she would see all of this. And the answer that the Lord gave me was John 3, 16. That's why. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. But then he said, don't stop at 16. Please go to 17. For God sent his son not in the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. Good Friday. Good Friday. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your gift that blesses us. Now, Lord, help us through your love that we have for you and the love you call for us to have for one another and let us be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name and all that he did, we pray and claim the victory. Amen, Amen. and hallelujah. Peace and blessings.